What color are your bones? White, off-white, something Crayola, like chalk-tinged porcelain? What if I told you there's a chance they could be green? You heard me. Instead of your typical yellowy white, your bones could be a muted brown-green color and, get this, glow in the dark. A study from 2007 described the intriguing but pretty well-documented result that people who had taken a prescription drug that treats severe acne had khaki green colored bones that fluoresced bright green under UV light. They found that this class of medications, tetracyclines, sometimes found its way into people's bones and fixed into the bone matrix, meaning that it became part of the external hard portion of bone. Importantly, the study showed that for adults, having tetracycline in your bones is not harmful though it can sometimes affect growth in children and teens when the bone is being built up during growth spurts. But this raises another question. How exactly did an oral acne medication end up inside people's bones? And why would it stay there? Well, let's start with how tetracycline does what it's meant to do. Tetracyclines are antibiotics, meant to fight acne by preventing bacterial growth. Tetracyclines literally four cycles, as you can see in their structure, prevent bacterial growth by binding to and inhibiting bacterial ribosomes, which is the molecular machine that makes proteins in cells. Proteins are required for pretty much any process that occurs in a cell. So if the bacteria can't make proteins, they can't survive. This structure is exactly what lets the tetracycline get into your bones as well. Many similar small molecules chelate with certain metals, meaning that they tend to bind those metals very well. In fact, chelating agents like EDTA are often used to treat metal poisonings like lead or arsenic. Tetracycline happens to be a chelating agent itself, binding strongly to several metals and metal salts, one of which is calcium. Calcium, specifically calcium phosphate, is very common in your bones. In fact, it makes up the majority of your bone matrix, the hard part of all your bones that surrounds the spongy bone and bone marrow. When bones build and repair this matrix, especially during times in your life that you're having growth spurts, which often coincide with acne in people's teens, calcium taken in by the body is incorporated into the matrix. So if tetracycline is also present, it's going to bind strongly enough to calcium phosphate that it is also fixed into the bone matrix. Now this leaves one more question about our glowing green bones. Namely, why do they glow? Let's take another look at the structure of tetracycline to answer this. The molecule has four connected rings with a number of alternating double bonds, creating what's called a conjugated system in chemistry. A conjugated system occurs in a molecule when its structure causes electrons to be delocalized, or spread out away from the atoms that they're normally attached to. Let's back up for a second. Where are the electrons in this structure? These lines represent bonds, which are made up of shared electrons between two atoms. For each atom, the electrons are usually localized around that atom's nucleus. But in a molecule with a bunch of other atoms, the electrons can be shared between two atoms, or among multiple atoms, in a way that improves the molecule's stability. When electrons are shared among multiple atoms, they have extra mobility and make the molecule more stable. And the electrons can then absorb wavelengths of light, causing them to temporarily gain energy and become excited. Some of this energy is lost when the molecule eventually relaxes, and the rest is emitted as a lower energy photon that we observe as fluorescence, or glowing. Now back to the bones. Tetracycline has a conjugated system in its structure, allowing the molecule to absorb high energy light, like UV, and fluoresce with lower energy light, in this case the wavelength that we see as a green glow. So there you have it. Your bones could glow green. But this phenomenon isn't just specific to people who are treated with antibiotics in the modern day. Even ancient archaeological finds have exhibited fluorescence due to tetracyclines present in their bones. These people probably got their glowing bones by coming into contact with some type of bacteria that makes tetracyclines. Of all the interesting things that could connect humans today with our ancient ancestors, potentially having green bones really stands out. And not just because the bones glow.